Factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient 1, we're asked to factor this polynomial x squared plus 8x minus 20. And this polynomial is in standard form, descending order. So it's in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. It's just a little bit special in that a, in this case, is 1. So whenever we do this factoring, we already know the form that the factoring is going to take. It's going to factor into two binomials. Two binomials, and since the leading term is x squared, that only gives us one choice for the beginning. It has to be x and x. And to find the rest of these, that's where we have to be a little bit more careful. First of all, we need the two numbers to multiply to give us negative 20, but we need them to add up to a positive 8. So two numbers that multiply to be negative 20, and those same two numbers have to add up to give us a positive 8. So it's kind of a game to figure out what these numbers are. And if you can think of it off the top of your head, then you're ahead of the game. Uh, but let's see if we can find an organized method to find them. Starting off with that negative 20. If I write the factors of negative 20, uh, well, first of all, of 20, it could be 1 and 20, 2 and 10, or 4 and 5. Now, in order to get a negative 20, though, the signs on these have to be different. So different signs. I've written them here as positives, but they have to be different signs. And remember, the other part is that they have to add up to positive 8. So if I'm looking for two of these guys to have different signs and add up to a positive 8, there's only one combination that's going to work, and that's these two. If the signs are different, I could use a negative 2 and a positive 20 and those would add up to positive 8. So just checking here, negative 2 times a positive 10, multiplying gives me negative 20, negative 2 plus a positive 10 gives me a positive 8. So that's our combination. One of these needs to be negative 2, and the other one needs to be positive 10. The order doesn't matter here. But just to check it and make sure that our answer is correct, we should multiply it out just to see what happens. Uh, multiplying the x by both terms, first x times x gives us x squared, and then x times the 10 gives us 10x. And then doing the same thing with the minus 2, distributing it to both terms, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times 10 is minus 20, and these middle terms simplify so that we have x squared plus 8x, combining like terms, minus 20, so our factoring did work. Just to write it one more time here, we factored it as x minus 2 and x plus 10.